The system in the figure is an equilibrium. When m1 equals 10 kg, find the values of t1, t2, and m2. Assume the pulley to be massless and frictionless so that it does not change the tension in the curve. Now, how can we resolve this very work? It is quite simple. Now we have to still consider static equilibrium. It means that for static equilibrium, the net force must be zero and also the sum of the torque must also be zero. But for the one of the torque, we are not looking at the case of rotational equilibrium. Therefore, we have no business with this uh, one. We have no business with this one. It means that we have to consider the net force equals zero. I have to say the sum of the forces in the Y equals zero and the sum of the forces in the X equals zero. And uh, this one is under translational equilibrium. Now, to resolve this, you can see at this part here we have a pulley. We have a pulley. It means that if this T1, this tension force here, this is a hook, and this hook controls it to this position here, it means that if here now is T1, it means that here will also be T1, the same tension force. It means that the tension force here will also be the tension force here. Okay? Okay, now we cannot say here is T1, here is T1. We take note of that, that position there is T1. And we can determine the weight force here. We can determine the weight force of U1 equal M1G. And this one is also a weight force. And this one will be what? Uh, uh, W2, which is equal M2G. Okay, now we can resolve the component here, the component, the Y, and the S component. This one. This T1 will have effect here, T1 cross 45 degree. And this one here, there's no space here, let me bring it to the down here. It means that this T1 will also have effect here, 41 uh, sine 45 degree. Okay, why for this part here? We we'll also bring out the components. This one will be Y and this one will be S. And this T2 will also have effect, T2 cross 50. This one will be T2 cross 50. 3 degree, 3 degree, T2 cos 3 degree, and this one here, this T2, we also have effect on the Y, we also be T2 sign 53 degree, 53 degree. Please take note of that, very, very important. Okay, now we have a complete system now, we cannot solve. Now to solve this, I have to consider the one of the pulley first, then we consider the one of the pulley first, and look at it, we have it, which is M1. One of the pulleys is M1 and it's 10 kg, please take note. And we have a tension force there, we have a tension force, and that one is T1. Please don't forget that this tension force is always upward, it will be upward. As yes, T1 will be T1, this tension force will be upward. Okay, now let us see, we have the weight force, we have the weight force of the U1, and this one is going to be uh, M1, M1G. And therefore, we can determine the sum of the forces in the Y because we only have one component here, no S component, only Y component we have here in the system. Okay, now we have some of the uh, Y equal T1, this one is positive, this one is negative, okay, the one of the U1 is negative, here will be zero, okay, this one is T1 minus the U1, taking it over, we have T1 equal to the U1, okay, which is the same thing as M1G. Now, to get T1, we have uh, M1 is 10, and we are taking our D at uh, 9.8. And when we do that, we have T1 equal 98 Newton. If you take notes, we now have the value of T1 now. It means that if here is 98, it will also be 98 because the same tension force. Please take notes of that. Okay, I think we have resolved that part. Okay, we still have other vertical components. We have here, we have here. We need to see the that is that you say now sigma fy sigma fy that for this part now for this part we have t1 viscosity t1 sine 45 degree plus what the other one positive there we have t2 and it's also positive sine 53 degree and which other one there that is vertical we have w2 and that is going to be w2 which is a minus w2 and here it was zero equal T1 sine 45 degree, okay, this one is the T2 sine 53 degree, okay, and this one here is going to be M2G, 
Now remember in the question we have to do for M2, therefore I need to now carry my head to the side because M2 G equals C1 sine 45 degree plus T2, T2 sine 53 degree. Okay, now we already have the value for T1, please don't forget. We already obtained the value for T1. I can say now here will be M2G equal T1 is 98 sine 45 degree plus T2 uh, sine 53 degree. Please don't forget this one will be equation one or cut down equation one. Okay. Now we are able to resolve all the y component, go down to the x component. You mean that for this one we have sigma fs. Sigma fs, okay, and the y there, this one is positive if I narrow it, uh, uh, pointing to the right, it means positive. We call it C1 uh, cos uh, 45 degree, and uh, let us see whether this one is positive. This one is negative, look at the arrow head, pointing to the uh, left, therefore here will be minus C2 uh, cos 50 degree. Okay, I think we are okay there. That is it there. Okay, now this one can now be zero equal T1 cos uh, 45 degree minus T2 cos uh, 53 degree. This one is 53 degree cos 53 degree. Okay, now taking it over, can carry T2 over I become uh, T2 uh, cos 53 degree equal this one will now be uh, equal C1 cos 45 degree. Now we make it into the subject. I will divide both sides by cos 53 degree. I will have T1 cos 45 degree all over cos uh, 53 degree. Now I can take this one to the equation 2. Now for that equation 2, I can solve for that and substitute T1. I will already have C1. From the solution we already have T1. What is our T1? 98 cos 45 degree all over cos 50, 53 degree. Cos 53 degree. Now from here I can now I get the cos 45 multiplied by 98 divide cos 53 degree. Okay, let us see what will happen. Let us see the value. Okay, now the value I have here. Is simply 115.15 root. This is what I have here in the one of a, like on the one of a T2. Okay, since I'll be able to obtain T1, T2 now, I cannot get the M1. Now to obtain M1, we'll go back to equation one. I want the equation one there is M2 G equal, I want to get T1 sine, okay, we are in 98, 98 sine. 45 degree plus T2 uh, sine 53 degree. Okay, now I can substitute the one of uh, as, uh, one of T2. We already have T2 there, and T2 is 115.15. Okay, sine 53 degree. Okay, don't forget M2. We already have M2. Okay, we don't have M2. It's M2 we are looking for. But the G is 9.8 9 .8 meter per second squared. Please don't forget, G is 9.8 meter per second squared. Now approximate to 10 meter per second squared. But I'm using this very one here. Now this one is called M2. M2 there. Now I can now go further and uh, make M2. Okay, before I make M2 the subject here, let me get the value, let me get the value here. It means that the sine of 45 multiplied by uh, 98, okay, from what we have, we have uh, 69.3, okay, let's also get the sine of 53 degree, the sine of 53 degree, okay, the sine of 53 degree, 53 degree, multiply 115.15, okay, I have 91, I have 91, Point nine six, point nine six, point nine six. Okay. Now here is nine point eight meet like M M M M two nine point eight M two. Now have this part here. I can have that part. When I have that part, let us see what happened there. 
I want to have this very fat here. When I have this, I'm going to have uh, 9 plus 8 means 10, 2. That plus 8, 10, 2. Having this fat now, I can put it over here. So we have here. Okay, we have the uh, equal 1, 6, 1.26. Now, what are we doing? We are looking for M2. Now, to get M2, or to obtain M2, we need to divide both sides by the coefficient of uh, M2, that is 9.8. Therefore, I'll have M2 equal 161.161.26.26. Okay? Divide by 9.8. Divide 9.8. Now, we'll divide that. Let us see. Let us see. Divide that and let us see. Okay? Okay, now we have 16. It means that we are going to have approximately 16.5 kg. That one will be for the M2. Now, let's just say that we have obtained T1 to be 98 newton. T2 is uh, 115.15 newton. And M2 is equal, uh, what is it there, 16.5 kg. Therefore, I will come on and a class. You can add in class. This is uh, the value for uh, the value we asked to that is, uh, the things we are asked to do for T1, T2, and M2. We are able to obtain the three values. Okay, I think at this point I can end my teaching. Please don't forget to uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Mathematics Science Mega Tutorial, and also like my Facebook page, JB Jumbo Online Mathematics. All the best.